Unify 5.12.35 is out and ready. It's just been out for a couple days. I loaded on our server and based on forum posts, because we didn't have any problems with it, but I'm not saying that doesn't mean there's not problems. Uh, people had some update problems. People said it was using more CPU. I know they have like, you know, I turned it on as well, the Wi-Fi AI system I talked about with my more in-depth video about all the new features that came with the 5.12 update. Uh, but this is just an incremental update to address a couple minor issues. One, uh, the problems people had upgrading. Now my upgrade process is pretty straightforward. One, we have auto backup turned on, so I'm not too worried about backups, but I still back the system up, download the file, uh, so it's not on the system itself, just in case, and then I shut down the VM, snapshot the VM, bring the VM back up, mainly load the update from command line. I don't do it through the repositories. I like to mainly load and purposefully do this. Then I update all the firmware. If there's any firmware updates on different devices that are attached to the controller, and away we go. Now we manage this for all of our customers and things like that. So, you know, we're careful about how we do it. It's a really a real pain if all this was broken. So that's why we have all the backups, the snapshots and the methodology by which to roll back. Now, the first thing that I'll note that I tweeted out was, thanks for asking. And that's because this is the big feature change with the 5.12.35. Uh, Security and analytics. Send diagnostics and usage data to Ubiquity. Help Ubiquity improve its products and services by automatically sending diagnostics and usage data. Send or don't send. This is the first prompt you get after the upgrade. I've already clicked it, so I can't show you again, but I screenshotted it because I figured, you know, once it asks you on login, it's not going to ask again if you turn this on or off. I believe wholly that companies need data in order to understand how you use their products and to improve the services of those products. If they understand every environment that you're in or have a lot of data from the different environments, more than the labs that they do their own testing in, they get better understanding that, oh, this is a problem or this is a feature we should focus on. This is how you help steer your engineering team. What we do know is when they didn't ask us, a lot of people got mad, including myself. You know, I did a video and, you know, not that I'm really ranty ravey, but I, I was like, you got to ask first. <laughs> and that's just a general politeness, even if it's in your terms and conditions that we know no one except for someone, that one person has got a lot of time in their hands and uh, understands all the legal jargon in there, has taken the time to read, that yes, it's probably in there. So undoubtedly it's legal to do because there's, you know, um, I'm just feeling that Ubiquity probably has a lawyer or two that says, oh yeah, you can do that. Um, and there's probably some product guy going, we need the data. And there's some engineer going, uh, you should probably ask the users first. And well, we see who won and Ubiquity finally decided to add an update to do this. Matter of fact, that's the only major version change it looks like uh, besides the usual generic wording of some performance, improved performance, fixed stability and control interface was add analytics opt-in modal, which is displayed uh, post upgrade and add a toggle on and off for analytics. So even if you say yes or no, you can change your mind later about it. And I don't like to set up a problem giving Unify the data. I just wish you would have asked first because this is important. But for those of you that don't want to, now it's an easy option versus actually sync holding it. So our controller is running a 5.12.235. Uh, we'll go over here to devices. And I've updated the firmware on each of the devices. So everything's running all the latest firmware and it eh, seems to work perfectly fine. I didn't notice anything new. Go over to my video, which I'll link below the 5.12 video, where I did talk about this as a major update with a lot of new features. Now, interesting in this errata is a feature to fix restore in UDM when default site does not have a gateway present. Here's the UDM. That's why it's sitting next to me. So I was kind of curious and I'm under the updates. Let's go ahead and check for update. It is November 25th. 2019, six days after the release. I believe this is six days ago. Um, yep, six days ago is when they published it. And this dream machine that's been sitting here doesn't have an update. So I thought it was odd that they had it in the errata that there's an update for the dream machine, but the dream machine doesn't seem to see an update. So maybe it's just a stage rollout and maybe it'll queue, but I did try forcing the update. So I thought that was interesting that uh, the Unified Dream Machine still is on the 5.12.25 version. So it works fine. It didn't have any problems with it. And I have a few videos on the Dream Machine itself um, in this product, which, you know, has some mixed, some people hate it, some people love it. It's got its use case. Watch, I'll leave a link to that video as well. Uh, but there's not much else to the update other than thank you for the privacy notice. Uh, I'm fine with sending data when you ask me on sites that I don't have a problem doing that with. Obviously, some of my clients that work, especially certain government ones who want no data leaving, they can say no and they say no data leaving. Or some home users that uh, are convinced everyone's spying on them. Uh, 
Hi, I've seen a few of you message me interesting messages. Uh, say no, you can say no now and uh, you don't have to block it or anything like that. They've got an option for you to click the no button and not send data. So there's that. That's all, that's all I got for this update. There's, like I said, not a lot of new features. It's more like some tuning and enhancement, the usual bug fixes and the privacy notice. So I'm gonna say thanks for that. I, I like the fact that they added that as a feature because um, they should have done it from the beginning. So hopefully any other companies could learn from this, the outrage that it seemed to spark um, when you, even though it's legal that you don't ask, ask first, that's all. Ask us and a lot of people like myself, I don't mind sending you some data, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.